Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel where I post videos dedicated to topics related to melasma and share ways that I manage it. If this type of content interests you, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I want to send a big thank you out to my current subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a topical pigment corrector cream called Suspera. What is it? How is it used? And did it help my melasma? Please keep watching. Okay, spoiler alert, my results with Suspera overall were slight. And before you stop watching, I want to share something. I had someone leave a comment on one of my earlier results videos that went like this. Stop talking beep, get to the beeping results. Anyway, the comment was filtered by YouTube, but it got me thinking when I was getting ready to shoot this video. Now, if you have melasma and are watching this right now, I know you are very aware of this skin condition. I do not advertise any products. I certainly make recommendations if I think they'll be helpful for you. Now, this channel is meant to provide useful information about melasma, share ways that I manage it, and hopefully get others to share as well. So if a product helps me overwhelmingly or minimally, it is not necessarily going to be the same results for everyone. That's just the nature of melasma with its uh, different causes and varying reactions to triggers. So you can see obviously amazing results with any topical pigment corrector, just go to the uh, product's website, right? So anyway, keep in mind, managing melasma is not about one magic solution or a quick fix. It's a whole lot of trial while trying to stay ahead of the things that trigger it. So with all that said, please keep watching, roll the intro again. Just kidding, I would not do that. Okay, so Cispera is made in Switzerland by a dermatology research company. It contains cysteamine hydrochloride, which is naturally produced by our bodies. Cispera helps to inhibit melanin synthesis. And there are published studies that document its efficacy in patients with melasma. So the treatment involves 16 weeks of daily application followed by a maintenance phase of two times per week. Now this is where I thought uh, it was interesting, the maintenance phase, because as you know, uh, one of the frustrating things about topical melasma treatment is the fact that any fading of pigment can return over time once a treatment is stopped. This is certainly true for even the uh, gold standard of pigment corrector creams, hydroquinone. Now if you are looking for a uh, hydroquinone free pigment corrector or one to use during the times you are giving your skin a break from it, consider Suspera. It can be used long term and it is safe for all Fitzpatrick skin types. The initial 16 week phase takes a bit of skincare discipline because you have to apply it to dry skin and then rinse it off after 15 minutes. Now if you cleanse your face beforehand, you have to wait at least one hour uh, before applying. So the best time for me to do this regularly was first thing in the morning, but you can use it any time of the day that works for your schedule. I literally woke up, went straight into my bathroom, applied the cream, and then hit the timer on my phone for 15 minutes. So the first couple of days when I applied the cream, I felt a very slight bit of tingling, nothing noteworthy. Uh, the product information does state that this is not uncommon, but of course, everyone's reaction may be different. So keep that in mind with any skincare product because as you know, uh, irritation can trigger melasma. So I used my uh, gentle cleanser go-to CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser to rinse off the product. Then my usual morning skincare routine followed after I showered for the for the day. A vitamin C serum, moisturizer, and sunscreen. I will put links to my videos about those specific products below. Now keep in mind I am a study of one. My before and after pics as you will see show only slight improvements. I am a few weeks into the maintenance phase and I have continued to use it two times a week because it's my current routine and I might as well try to hang on to the little improvement I did experience. Okay so take a look at these pictures. Here is a straight front shot to show my upper lip area. Excuse the obvious lighting discrepancy but I did not like how this side of the upper lip area looks almost worse, but I can see that there is a slightly lighter pigment color on this side. Next, looking at my right side, here at the upper cheek area, I can see a nice improvement of the pigment 
not so much on my left side, just a little decrease in darkness of the pigment here in the upper cheek area, but nothing to get excited about. Now I did notice that from this angle, the side of my upper lip area does not look as bad as I initially thought with that front view. So that is that. Overall, none the worse for wear. Minor improvements of the appearance of the melasma patches, but again, after 16 weeks of skincare discipline, I was hoping for better results. Although, I'm not bummed. It's all part of this world of managing melasma because there is no cure, and it's all about management. I will link my video where I talk about that and how I keep from letting melasma get the best of me. So, I do want to show you um, the Suspira tube. It is dispensed by a pump, which is a nice way to control the amount of product when it is being applied. This is a 1.75 ounce tube. Uh, it is $169, um, definitely on the pricey side, but it has lasted well beyond the 16 weeks, and there is still quite a bit of product remaining for the maintenance phase. Although, with my results, I do not plan to purchase again once empty. I feel it's worth saying, though, any topical pigment corrector for stubborn melasma has the potential of little return on investment, and that includes both the investment of time and money. But I would say even with my slight improvements, Suspera does help fade pigmentation of the epidermal layer, in other words, the most superficial top layer of skin. Not so much the dermal um, layer, which is the second deeper layer of skin. Now keep in mind a combination of both epidermal and dermal melasma can be present at the same time. And again, I show my not so significant results just to share another topical treatment option. I encourage you to decide for yourself about using this cream because your melasma may respond differently. I was actually more satisfied with my results when I used a combination cream of hydroquinone 6% and tretinoin 0.025%. I will link that video if you are interested in seeing those results. Well, I hope you found this video informative. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps to promote my channel. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section about any experience you may have had with Suspera or other topical pigment corrector creams. Melasma affects so many, and sharing is just one way to help support each other. Wishing you all good health, and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.